in Vienna. We're going to be staying very close to the Schönbrunn Palace. Now, Schönbrunn is, of course, a beautiful little summer palace, as the Habsburgs like to have, and um, beautiful grounds all around it. The summer palace of Franz Josef and his reluctant empress Elizabeth, better known by her nickname of Sissy, a tragic 19th century royal figure similar to Britain's Princess Diana. Before Sissy's time, this former hunting lodge destroyed during the Turkish siege in 1683, but rebuilt in the mid-18th century, became the grand Baroque residence of the great Habsburg Empress Maria Theresa. Her husband, Franz Stefan, founded a menagerie in the palace grounds in 1752. It's now the world's oldest existing zoo. Hi. Hello. In the early 19th century, when Napoleon occupied Vienna, he used Schönbrunn as his headquarters. The triumphal colonnaded Gloriette, which stands on a hill high above the palace's Versailles-style gardens, was built in 1775 to commemorate a Habsburg victory over the Prussians. Even for such a tragic figure as Sissi, at Schönbrunn, there must have been at least a few moments of joy in such a beautiful setting. By February 7, 1786, Emperor Joseph had been promising his vision of a German language musical comedy for a decade. So he scheduled a musical combat to help popularize the idea. The setting for this between court composer Antonio Salieri and Mozart was the Orangery in Schönbrunn Palace. The Emperor had asked Salieri and Mozart each to write a short opera in their respective languages. It's been claimed that the Emperor's predilection for Italian opera gave an advantage to Salieri. Wolfgang had written a one-act comic opera, or Singspiel, called the Impresario. The two pieces were performed at opposite ends of the Orangery, with Mozart's work preceding Salieri's. The audience listened to Mozart's piece and then turned the other way and heard Salieri's piece. According to contemporary reports, the audience preferred Salieri's piece, in which a poet is obliged to provide words to an already existing score. Salieri was paid 100 ducats as the winner, and Mozart was paid 50 ducats for the singspiel. When you work out the keyboard, we're right. Yeah. Here we go. Nice. Thank you. On this wonderful night. The city of dreams. Vienna, or Wien, the capital of Austria, was once the home of the Habsburgs and residents of great composers such as Mozart, Beethoven, Haydn, Brahms, Schubert, Strauss, and of course many more. Vienna was for many centuries the political and economic center of the Austrian Empire under the Habsburg family. And between 1867 and 1918, the capital of the Austro-Hungarian monarchy. Following World War I, with Austria greatly reduced in size, the city found itself with a suddenly limited role and its importance declined. At the end of World War II, Vienna was heavily damaged, but after the signing of the State Treaty in 1955, guaranteeing neutrality for Austria, it again resumed considerable importance as a commercial and transportation centre. Today, the city dominates the economic and cultural life of Austria. Its population is less than two million people. The State Opera House, which was burned down in 1945, was rebuilt in 1955. The inner city was once surrounded by protective walls. 
The walls were raised in 1857 and in their place a broad boulevard, the Ringstrasse, was built and subsequently lined with imposing buildings, monuments and parks. Vienna is a city of numerous museums and art galleries. Among the most prominent are the Albertina, the Museum of the 20th Century, Kunsthistorisches Art Museum, the Natural History Museum and the Museum of Fine Arts. There's also the Hofburg, the former Imperial Palace, the oldest part of which was built during the 13th century. Vienna's buildings are of many different architectural styles. Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque and typical Austrian Biedermeier structures are found together with early 20th century barrack-like apartment buildings and modern apartment buildings of the post-World War II period. The Gothic St. Stephen's Cathedral, rebuilt between the 13th and 15th century, is in the centre of the inner city and has a 113 metre steeple that can be seen from all parts of Vienna. One of the big attractions of Vienna is its music and its music museums to some of the great composers. 